Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to The Codex. In this video, we're going to be continuing our Java series, learning all about the switch statement in Java. Now, we just covered what conditional statements are, how to use them, relational operators, and also the combining of conditions in Java. Now, there's a really cool operation out there called the switch statement. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to basically go over a lot of the possible cases of a specific variable and then also have a default case. It saves us a lot of time rather than rather than writing a lot of if else if else if statements you can simply use a switch statement to show this into practice i'm going to go ahead and define a variable called month and i'm going to set this equal to one for now and i'm going to go ahead and create a switch statement that goes over all the possibilities of the month value and then prints out something depending on the possibility so the way we do this is we say something called switch and then we pass in the variable that we want to switch basically and in this scenario, that's going to be month. And inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and start writing cases. So instead of writing conditions like, oh, if this, you just write case and then the value that you think it is. So if the value of our month is one, I want to go ahead and print out it is January. Okay. Then if our value or sorry, and then after this, go ahead and say break. And what break does is it breaks out of this whole switch statement. It saves us a lot of efficiency in code. It won't go through the rest of our switch code. So in this scenario, guys, okay, we have case one. Now I'm going to go into case two. If our month value is equal to two, then system.out.println, it is February. Okay. And I spelled that wrong. Whoops, February. And then let's go ahead and break out of this as well. And then last but not least, let's do one more case, case three. If it is the third month, then it is March. So it is March. Fantastic. And let's break out of this. So what's actually happening here, guys, is that we're going through every single possibility of our month variable. But what if someone accidentally inputted zero or 12 or 15 or 18? Sorry, 12 is a month, that's December. But what about 15, 18, 21, all those random numbers out there that do not correlate to a month? So that's where the default case comes into play. Just like we had else for conditional statements, you have default for the switch statement. And what that enables us to do is we can say something like this default. So if none of the other cases are true, or for example, if it couldn't find a case that matches, then all we have to do is just print out something like, oh, system that out.print blind, we could not find the month you requested. Okay. So what's actually going on here, guys, we have our different cases, case one, case two, case three. And when you write case three, all we're doing is we're saying is month equal to three is month equal to two is month equal to one. And if that is, then perform this action. The switch is a very nice way to basically write shorthand Java instead of writing out every if else if else if condition, we can just break it down into different cases. And then the default acts like the else statement. So go ahead and save this. And if I hover over case two and case three, it just says that it's unreachable. That's because our value is one. So go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and say Java C main.java and then Java main. And let's take a look. It is January. Awesome. Now let's do something like this. Let's make it month three. Okay. So let's do case three and let's compile this and run it. And then we get it is March. So what's happening here again, it goes through case one, case two, case three, and then realizes, oh, my month is equal to three print out. It is March. Now let's choose something that does not exist. Let's say negative eight. Now again, because it's negative eight, it's going to go through our three cases. One, two, three realize, oh shoot, none of these cases match. And then it goes to our default case. I'm sure you're wondering why did we not put a break for our default case? The reason for that is because we don't have to break out the switch block since we're already at the very end. For the other three cases though, the break keyword allows us to break outside of the switch block. And basically we don't have to go through the rest of the switch statement anymore. But anyways, if I choose a number that is negative, so negative eight, let's go ahead and compile this and run it. And then we get, we cannot find the month you requested. So again, the switch statement is really cool when you have some sort of variable in which there are some very fixed alternatives. For example, some cases where the switch statement is applicable is like for directions. You have north, south, east, or west. It could be days of the week. You have seven days of the week. In those scenarios, guys, instead of having to write if, else, if, else, if, else, if, like that, you can just use a switch statement and go through the different cases. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Today was a great rundown on switch statements, and I hope to see you in a future video.